Hi guys, I'm going to share with you how to use the DAQ and how to use lab view to program the DAQ. So now let's go to lab view, launch lab view, blank VI. When you come to this diagram, this press window to the left to the right. So here's the front panel and here's the block diagram. Most of the programming will happen here. And here is uh, you will see how the program actually works. So before you start, we need a while loop. So right click on the block diagram, structure, while loop. Hold the left click and drag, and this is the while loop. It's exactly function same as what you learned in Compro. So after you form the while loop, we need to create uh, this timing. And click on tools, look for uh, function palette, no, not function palette, tools palette, sorry. So, tools palette. So, click on this, connect wire, okay, right click on and create constant. Okay, whatever value you key, the unit is millisecond, 200 milliseconds, which is equal to 0 0.2 seconds. So whatever program inside the while loop, it will execute the program for 5 times because 0 0.5, 0 0.2 times 5 equals to 1 second. So in 1 second, it will execute 5 times. And this is the stop button. So you use the wire, connect wire, right click, create control. See the stop button will appear here. So now we are ready to set up our DAQ. So right click on the function palette. So now measurement IO and I DAQ DAQ assistant okay. okay when you come to this screen we are going to talk about generate signals today analog output voltage and the one that we want to select is AO0 because analog output zero if you look at your DAQ demo box, AO0 is actually LAN. So finish, and we have to set the configuration over here. The output range is from 5 volts to 0, or 0 to 5 volts, and the generation mode, one sample on demand, termination configuration, RSE, custom scaling, no scale. So I'll click OK. So this, you're actually programming the DAQ. So, so the DAQ is done. Okay, so I make your mouse, put the DAQ. Okay, now we need something to control the DAQ. That means, in other words, you program this thing inside DAQ, you need a, a button or something in the form to control the, the LAN. So now we create a horizontal pointer slide. Okay, we must change the value here because the voltage range that we set just now is actually. Um, 0 to 5. So we need to set the 5. Okay, uh, at least I put a slide here, there's a slide appeared here. So very simple, same thing. Press the wire to connect. Okay. Now right click on the slide, visible item, digital display. Okay. So now you will see uh, how this gonna how this program will execute. So in other words, the program in the while loop will execute five times in one second. So this is the run button. So it, it runs the whole program of this sequence. So let me minimize this window and open up the camera window. Okay, this is the camera. So basically you can see my DAQ demo box. And the moment I press run, okay, notice if I do adjust this, see Notice the lamp will bright up. Ah, you can see it's working. So, 0 to 5 volts. Of course, as you increase your voltage, the brighter it is. As you decrease your voltage, uh, the dimmer it gets. So, you see, very simple. So, this is the DAQ for gener generating uh, analog output.